Hey Divine Ones, it's Latoya Okia. Welcome back to another video. So this video is gonna be a little bit different. Y'all excuse that, the, the shadow went up there, that's my ceiling fan. <laughs> um, this video is gonna be a little different. Um, this is gonna be um, more so on the transparent side. All my Divine Ones that have young ladies, you have uh, teen daughters, you have any daughter any daughter, any niece, granddaughter, I want you to sit her down. I want you to let her watch this video, baby, because this is one I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I may have to do a series about it. Yeah, I feel that in my spirit, it's gonna be have, have to be a whole series. And that is the things that I wish I knew in my 20s. The things that I wish I knew in my 20s, as well, not even just my 20s, but as a teenager too. So this is part one, okay? Things I wish I knew in my 20s. I'm 35 years old right now at the time of me recording this video. And I think about how my life feels now and uh, just the mindset that I have now. And if I could see myself, like if I could go back and talk to myself at the age of 19, at the age of 20, 21, um, being the woman that I am today and having the mindset that I have today, if I could go back and have a conversation with that young woman I would tell that young woman, and this is why I say, have your have your daughters, um, you know, have your nieces, your um, your granddaughters, have them listen to this. All my divine ones, I know I got some listeners that's in this age category from 13 to 17, from 18 to 25. I see the analytics, I see that y'all are there, you're watching, so I want you to take this message to heart, baby. What I'm saying, I would say to myself, is is the message that I want you to get from this too. But if I could have that conversation, go back, talk to 19-year-old Toya, 20-year-old Toya, what are some of the things I would say to her? I would tell her to slow down. I tell her to slow down. I would tell her to stop trying to figure everything out and stop rushing to be grown. <laughs> stop rushing to be an adult. You're gonna have plenty of time. You're gonna have plenty of time to uh, go and do this and, and be involved in this and, and be involved in that. And you're just gonna have time to live your life and you just need to slow down and stop trying to have it all figured out. Stop trying to be an adult before you need to be an adult. I uh, became married at the age of 20. So I was a 20 year old wife. I was engaged at the age of 19 and I was uh, married at the age of 20. And I would tell my 20 year old self to slow down, stop trying to figure life out. If something is for you, if it's meant for you, you will not have to rush it. You will not have to give up on your dreams for it. You will not have to give up on your plans. You will not have to give up your your goals, your your purpose. When I say your plans, I mean the plans that God have for you. You will not have to give up on your purpose. You will not have to walk away from your purpose when it's meant for you. It will flow and you will be able to be who God has created you to be with that thing or with that person. Like when it's meant for you, you'll know it because time will tell. Time will tell. That's what I would say to my younger self. I would tell my younger self, you know, it's okay. Don't don't be in in a rush to have kids. Don't be a don't be in a rush to be a mother. Learn as much as you can about yourself. Stop looking at everybody else's clock. These are the things that I would say to myself. Stop looking at everybody else's clock and everybody else's timeline and and what all the other kids are doing or what all the the other 20-year-olds are doing. Kids are wonderful. It's amazing. But once you have kids, your life changes and it will never be the same. So I would tell myself to slow down and to enjoy my youth, to enjoy my life, to spend time with God, to seek the kingdom of God. I would I would say I would say to myself, and this is what I say to all the young women that's watching this, the same thing that I would say to myself, find out who you are. Find out what you like. Don't try to be anything to anybody else until you have first been true to yourself, until you first know who you are in Christ, your identity in God. 
until you first discover your work of life, discover your purpose. And once you discover that, walk boldly in that. That's what I would tell myself because I used to be so afraid of people calling me the preacher lady. I used to be so afraid of um, just being stigmatized and just and just being talked about and just being being treated differently. And people people just treat me differently than everybody else. I didn't want to be treated differently than everybody else. I didn't want people to be, oh, here come the preacher lady. You know, oh, you can't cuss around her. Or, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that around her. You know, she preaching now. You know, she, she godly now. You know, she saved now. And so when I was young, I used to be in my head about that a lot. So if I could go back to 20 year old Toya, I would tell 20 year old Toya to forget them folks. <laughs> I would tell her to forget them folks and I would tell her to walk boldly in her calling and forget them folks, forget what anybody has to say about you, baby. If you the preacher lady, then you be the preacher lady. That's your gift. And that's what God placed inside of you. And I would tell her, woman, walk in your calling because it's gonna bless your life. It's gonna bless people's lives all over the world. I would tell her to love your body, embrace your body, love your skin tone, love your hair texture, love your height. I used to be uh, self-conscious a lot about being tall. A lot of people don't know that about me, that I'm, I'm tall. You know, people see me on camera, but they don't see me in person. And when they meet me in person, they like, oh, you taller than I thought you were gonna be. I'm 5'9", and that's on the taller side for a woman. Most women are not, you know, 5'9", 5'10", 5'11". Most women are like 5'5", five, five or shorter than that. So for a woman, that's tall. I'm 5'9". And so I used to be in my head about that a lot. If when I wore heels, I was six feet. And, you know, I, it was just a thing. All my tall girls, baby, y'all know what I mean. Especially you a tall girl and you a dark-skinned girl. Um, so it's, it's just, I would tell young Toya, just like I would say to all my young queens, I would tell young Toya, love your skin tone, baby, because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I would tell myself to slow down. I would tell myself to seek the kingdom of God. Don't seek a relationship. Don't seek a marriage. Don't seek to be a mother. Don't seek to have kids because none of these things will fill the void that only your purpose can fill. That's what I would say to 20-year-old Toya. I would tell 20-year-old Toya to... What goes on with you and God, let it go on with you and God. Don't go outside of your relationship with God, um, venting to people, venting to friends, venting to family members, um, just, just doing a tell-all with people. I would tell young Toya to slow down and stop. Don't trust everybody that you meet. Don't trust everybody that you see because these these people that are coming to you now, this is what I would say to young Toya. These people that's coming to you now, they're a, a lot of them, they're being sent by the enemy because the enemy is strategic. He sends people when we're outside of purpose to, to burn us and to hurt us and to disappoint us so that by the time we get in purpose, we don't trust the people that God has actually sent. We don't love the people that God has actually sent because we've wasted so much time with the wrong people. So I would tell young Toya to walk your path, trust and know that what God has for you is just for you. So you don't have to rush it. You don't have to hurry up and have a baby. You don't have to hurry up and get married. You don't have to hurry up and get an apartment. You don't have to hurry up and, and, and rack up all these bills. You don't have to hurry up and go get a brand new car. You don't take your time, let God slow cook you, Get in that slow cooker, baby, because your purpose, your calling that God has on your life, it is wonderful. It is amazing. I would tell young Toya that your eyes have not seen, baby. Your ears have not heard, and neither has it even entered into your heart the good things that God has in store for you because he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. That was just part one. We're gonna we're gonna do a, a whole series about this because I gotta do some soul searching, some dig, some 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 digging in my soul and pulling back some old memories and reminiscing and going back. And then you know, as the memories come back to me, I'll think of more things that I would have said to myself, having the mindset that I have now. So I pray this message right here will bless somebody. If you heard something on this this part of the video this part of the series that touched you i want you to click the link below 
I have some courses down there for y'all, some free courses. Uh, we have a membership inside of the academy that will uh, open back up shortly. We don't have open enrollment right now, but it's going to open back up shortly. So I want you, I want you to take action. Take action with every single thing you hear on this channel. I'm, I'm pushing you to take action because it's when you take action that your life will begin to change. Okay, and that's for my, my young women. That's for my, my older women. We got to take action. We got to take action. And that's how I'm able to have the mindset that I have today and look back with the wisdom that I have today because I took action. Okay. So this was just part one. There's going to be more parts to come. Things I wish I knew in my twenties. Okay. So I love y'all so much and I'll check back in with y'all later.